Finally tonight, Americans are hitting the road in RVs. Sales this year top half a million, the highest in nearly four decades. Dean Reynolds now on the RV boom and what's driving it. This part of northern Indiana is the birthplace for 85% of all the motor coaches in this country. And they can't seem to build them fast enough. The lots at Jayco, a subsidiary of Thor Industries, are lined with all kinds of RVs, selling for $15,000 on up. Way up. We opted for the cavernous luxury of the Integra model with Thor CEO Bob Martin. Yeah, this is, I think, the 701,000, but one of your assistants told me I could drive it away for 699. <laughs> we'll give you a deal. <laughs> On board, there are couches, cabinets, a fridge, a fireplace, and more. People love to travel with their own their own bedding, their own linens, their their own showers, showers, five TVs, five TVs. During the Great Recession, unemployment in this region was close to 20 percent. Today, it's two percent. Matt Lester was once laid off, but is now a foreman. Things have loosened up a lot. It's it, we've come a long way in the industry. We really have. This Jayco warehouse will soon need 400 more workers at starting salaries near $50,000 a year. Nearby Elkhart, once down on its luck, is now high on the hog, with a bustling downtown and a local KFC offering a $150 hiring bonus. So what's driving the revived RV industry? Low interest rates and gas prices and a renewed wanderlust. I just love being on the road. Andy Littlejohn added something else. Romance of the road, uh, meeting new people, that's, that's very important. At a time of deep divisions in this country, Americans may once again find common ground on the road. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Middlebury, Indiana.